Alright guys, so to get rid of skin tag, if you also have skin moon or you're experiencing what on your skin anywhere, you can make use of this guys. Okay, this is actually called potash. Now, this is used for cooking. You can use it to cook any, anything that you want it to get soft very quickly okay and you can also buy this in a local market where they sell ingredients you just go there and tell them you need to buy potash and they're, they're going to give you this it might be, be bigger than this but sometimes you know it comes in sizes okay so it's going to be looking like this so it's going to be looking whitish more than this so we're going to be using this as our number one ingredient And the next ingredient we're going to be making use of is going to be bicarbonate of soda, which is baking soda. All right. Now, baking soda is a great remedy that helps to remove skin tag when used with other natural, powerful ingredients that will help us to get rid of skin wax, mold, and tag. Okay. So it's, it works also in exfoliating the dead skin cells, and it also leaves the skin glowing. Now to make this work even better, we're going to be making use of salt. This is a normal salt. This is a salt you, you use in cooking, okay? But if you also have sea salt, you can make use of sea salt. Sea salt is going to be better, alright? So you, you just um, need salt because it's going to help to remove the germs and bacterials on the skin and it's going to also help to leave the skin glowing and it's going to help to remove skin wax, tag or mold and also you're going to be making use of castor oil now to use all of this powerful ingredients on the skin you have to also dilute it a little with castor oil okay now castor oil is a powerful oil that helps to retain moisture onto the skin using it alongside with other natural ingredients will help you so much in removing the wax on the skin the tag and also the mold okay it's gonna leave your skin super duper glowing and soft now to prepare this I'm gonna be needing to get a bowl and also I'm gonna be needing to, to crush it so however you want to crush your potash you can do that so I'm just gonna cut just a little up quantity of this potash okay now this quantity is actually enough I am going to try to crush this So I'm going to look for a way to crush this because it's actually very, very strong and I'll be right back. So you can see it's actually crushed and this is it. I actually use a mortar and crush this because potassium is, is usually very, very stiff and very hard to crush. Okay, so now you're going to be adding up a little bit of um, baking soda to this, okay? Now you can add much quantity or little quantity depending on if your skin tag is actually much or is just very little, okay? So for the salt, you have to add up a reasonable quantity of salt so it can actually catch it very very well and now you turn in the castor oil or you can actually mix this with water okay now there, there are two ways in which you can mix this you can mix it with water to be more effective and you can use the castor oil later okay so let's mix it with water first so I'm going to be putting just a little bit of water 
so it shouldn't be too watery the consistency should be okay to apply on any part of your body you want to okay all right so you have to mix and mix it very well or you can either after mixing it you can keep it you know for like 30 minutes to one hour for it to really really mix together okay now after which it has actually mixed together very well then you can use this okay so that you know that the potage and the baking soda has mixed very well friendly enough to work really really fine so now this is how you're going to be using the castor oil okay if you have um, skin tag here for instance okay so you take a little bit of castor oil and then you don't apply the, the castor oil on the skin tag you apply it around that place okay around that place or if you're actually applying this on your face you can apply it all over your face like rub it all over your face that's only if it's your face but if it's your body the skin on the body is is you know strong enough to take this okay because this is gonna be really really harsh enough to kill the skin tag so after that then you now take this treatment and then you apply it just on that part in which the skin tag is there okay just like that the mixture has to be friendly enough for you to be able to apply it on that part that you have the skin tag okay like that now you're not allowed to rub this all over your face okay you don't apply it all over your face just on that part in which you are experiencing skin tag okay okay so after you've you've applied this then you can actually hold it on for as long as you can okay if you're actually not going out to anywhere or to to walk you can hold it for as long as you can be it one one hour two hours okay and then it's let it stays there for so long after that then you can just go remove it now this treatment will work very very effective in three days now in three days you have to constantly apply this on that skin tag area i bet you guys it's just going to kill off the, all of the skin tag because the ingredients that are in here that are in here are very very powerful enough to just kill anything growth like external growth on your skin now in some cases if you're having a very sensitive skin you can take your castor oil after applying it there then you can rub it around those places that you have you didn't apply this thing now that is to prevent the you see how it's going that is to prevent it from you know burning any part of your skin okay because you're likely gonna be leaving this for so long on the skin tag okay you shouldn't be on a place where there is no skin tag okay should be on your skin tag just like that so repeat this for three days guys you can actually store the, the, the treatment it's gonna be very very more effective when you even store it okay and then you rub this on that part for three days now in case you have um some small small skin tag because i've seen some people who experiences some tiny tiny tag and mole 
So what you do is that you just grab the treatment and then you rub it on that part like this. Okay? You scrub it like that. So those are the differences. For this particular one, if the skin tag is big, for this one, if they are very tiny, you just rub it there. Okay? Now the thing is that it's going to burn the skin tag and it might a little bit burn your skin but don't worry after the skin tag is gone then you can use castor oil on those parts for like five to one week like five days to one week and your skin is going to be rejuvenated and you're, you're going to achieve your aim okay